Can you diagnose the problem in all three of these little pieces? I'm Hilda Ryan with your quick tip for piano teachers. Listen and see if you see what these have in common. I'll play just the right hand so you can see clearly. Did you hear the accents? I know you did. Let me play them one more time, see if you can catch what I did. Did you catch it? There was a drop of the wrist. Why? Well, the student was being very careful to observe the articulation. And you, uh, so I would, I would commend the student. You know, you're, you're very careful to observe the end of that slur. But if you lift and lose touch with the keys, the next note will be a drop of the wrist and you, you have to make, uh, it, it's gonna be faster because, and make a louder sound because you have further to go. If you're right here, it's gonna be a softer sound than if you're coming down from here. So it's just a, a matter of uh, physics, I guess. Um, so I, I I teach my students to release, release after a slur, not lift, and then to keep their wrist still. Uh, I, I ask them to do this. I, I want the wrist to stay unlocked, but just not be dropping up and down like this. So here, here's what it would look like. It doesn't get in the way of the phrase. Dropping with a wrist is a technical problem and it always causes a musical problem. So now you know how to fix it.